In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make top-down shooting in Unity. Now, this is not the full completed tutorial, which means I'm going to divide this tutorial into parts. And in this part, we're going to learn how to make basic shooting, fire rate, and bullet spread system. So without further ado, let's get started. So here we are at a 2D scene with a triangle, which is blocked by the camera icon that acts as our player. And of course, the player can move. If you want to know how to make it, you should check out this video where I show you guys how to make a simple top-down player movements. Yeah, I recommend watching that first before moving on. After you got your top-down player movement, you want to go ahead and make a new script and name it Shooting. Now let's open up the script and start coding. The first thing we want to do now is make the player rotate towards our mouse cursor, or which I like to call it AIM. So we'll type in public transform gun or gun model it's fine and then we'll type in private vector 3 mouse pose or mouse position so this variable is to set what object to rotate and this variable is to store the position of our mouse cursor in a form of vector 3 moving on inside our update method we'll type in mouse pose mouse po mouse pause ma mouse ma <laughs> How do I pronounce this sh Anyways, inside our update method, we'll type in mouse pose equal to camera dot main dot screen to world point input dot mouse position. This will store the position of our mouse cursor based on the center of our main camera view. Then we'll make a new variable called direction and set it to new vector two mouse pose dot x minus gun dot position dot x comma mouse pose dot y minus gun dot position dot y and finally we'll type in gun dot up equals direction now we'll save this script head back to unity insert our shooting script to our player drag and drop the player to the gun variable and hit play now if you move your mouse cursor you can see that the player rotates towards it which is pretty nice. Now that the player can aim, it's time to make the player shoot. So let's get back to our script. And we'll type in public game object projectile and then public transform gunpoint. Inside our update method, we'll type in if input dot get mouse button down zero and inside our if statement, we'll type in game object bullet equal instantiate projectile comma gunpoint dot position comma gunpoint dot rotation. So how this works is when we click our mouse button zero, which is the left click, it will instantiate or spawn the projectile game object at the gunpoint's position and rotation. And all of that will automatically be assigned to the bullets variable. Now let's save this script, head back to Unity, create a new game object as our projectile, like so. Make an empty game object inside our player as our gunpoint. Position our gunpoint game object right here. Assign our projectile and gunpoint object to our player's shooting script and hit play. And as you can see, when we press our left click, a projectile appeared at our gunpoint. Now all we need to do is to make the projectile move. Now let's get back to our script again and make a new public float variable called projectile speed. And inside our if statement, we'll add in bullet.getComponent rigidbody2d dot velocity equal gunpoint.up times projectile speed. This will make our instantiated projectile move based on our gunpoint's up rotation and projectile speed. Now if we save this, head back to Unity, add a rigidbody 2D component to our projectile and set the gravity scale to 0, set our projectile speed to 10 or so, hit play, and try to shoot, we can see that our projectile move based on our gun's direction and projectile speed. And to make it a bit cooler, you can add trails to your projectile, like what I'm doing right now, using the trail render component. And don't forget to turn the projectile into a prefab because this will be important for later. And that's it for the basic shooting mechanic. 
And from here, you might feel that you've achieved something at this point, and yes, I feel that too, but we're not done yet. Now let's add fire rate and spread system to our shooting script. So let's get back to our script and make a new public float variable called cooldown and a private float variable called current cooldown. Inside our update method, we'll type in current cooldown minus equals time dot delta time. Then we will modify our if statement by changing the get mouse button down to just get mouse button and we'll add and current cooldown less equals 0f. And inside our if statement, we'll type in current cooldown equals cooldown. Now I will explain how all of these work. So the differences between get mouse button down and get mouse button is get mouse button down is when we press the mouse button and get mouse button is when we are pressing or holding the mouse button. And since this if statement is executed every frame which causes the projectile to spawn every one frame which is a problem, we avoid that from happening by adding a cooldown system. And current cooldown acts as a timer of when to shoot again and cooldown is the original value of the current cooldown. And if the current cooldown goes to less than 0 and the player shoots, the value of the current cooldown is set to or its original value which is the cooldown value. And all of these creates a fire rate system. Now let's save this script and head back to Unity and set the cooldown to something like 0.25 and hit play. And as you can see if we hold our left mouse button, it will keep shooting with a cooldown of 0.25 seconds every shot. And there you go! A fire rate system. Now before we move on, there's something that we have to fix. So as you guys know, if we click our shoot button, it will spawn a projectile, right? Now that projectile will stay there forever until we stop playing the game. And a large amount of game object could cause our game to lag. Which is not what we want. Luckily, there's a way to fix this. First we will make a new script called bullet. Open the script. Inside the script, we'll make a new public float variable called destroy time. Inside our update method, we'll type in destroy time minus equals time dot delta time. Then we'll type in if destroy time less equals zero. And inside that if statement, we'll type in destroy this dot game object. This will add a timer to the bullet of when to destroy itself. Now let's save this script, head back to Unity insert our bullet script to our projectile prefab, set the destroy time to something like 5, and hit play. As you can see, when we shoot our projectile and wait for 5 seconds, the projectile will destroy itself. Now let's work on the spread system. So let's get back to our script and make a new public float variable called spread, and inside our if statement, we'll type in gunpoint.localrotation equals quaternion.euler New vector 3 gunpoint.localrotation.x, comma, gunpoint.localrotation.y, comma, random.range, minus spread, comma, spread. This will set the gunpoint's local rotation value to a random value between the spread's negative value and the spread's positive value every shot, which makes the next projectile to fire at random direction based on the spread's value, thus creating a gun spread system. Now let's save this script, head back to Unity, go to our player and set the spread to 5, and hit play. As you can see, when we shoot, the projectile will sometimes spread to a random direction not too far from our cursor. And that's all for this tutorial. If you guys want to see more of this, leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and feel free to give a suggestion to in, in the comments on what I should do next. And thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys learned something from this video, and as always, have a good day.